Hemochromatosis is a condition that results in the overabsorption of iron. Iron is stored in the organs, which over time destroys the organs and causes them to fail. Hemochromatosis is the most common genetic disease in the United States, affecting over 1 million people. Healthy people usually absorb about 10% of the iron contained in the food they eat to meet the body's needs. People with this disease absorb a much larger amount of iron than the body can handle. The body has no natural way to rid itself of the excess iron, so it's stored in the body tissues like the liver, heart, and pancreas. Some of the symptoms of hemochromatosis are joint pain, fatigue, lack of energy, abdominal pain, loss of sex drive, and heart problems. They tend to occur in men between the ages of 30 and 50 and in women over 50. There are some cases in which many people have no symptoms when they are diagnosed. If the disease is not treated, the iron may accumulate in body tissues and lead to many serious problems such as arthritis, liver disease, heart abnormalities, impotence, early menopause, abnormal pigmentation of the skin, and thyroid deficiency. The causes of this disease are genetic. Hereditary hemochromatosis is associated with a defect in a gene called HFE, which helps regulate the amount of iron absorbed from food. Mutations in the HFE gene are named C282Y. This is the most important, and H63D. When C282Y is inherited from both parents, iron is overabsorbed from the diet and hemochromatosis can result. H63D usually causes little increase in iron absorption. A person who inherits both mutations rarely develop hemochromatosis. The genetic defect is present at birth, but symptoms rarely appear before adulthood. There are other forms of hemochromatosis, such as juvenile and neonatal. Juvenile hemochromatosis causes the same problems in the young that hereditary hemochromatosis causes in adults. But iron overload begins much earlier and symptoms usually appear by age 30. It is an inherited disease, although the genetic abnormalities that cause it don't involve the HFE gene. It's caused by a mutation in a gene called hemojuvalin. Neonatal hemochromatosis is very severe, in which iron builds up in a baby's liver so rapidly that he or she may be stillborn or die within a few days of birth. The causes are still unknown. Blood tests can determine whether the amount of iron stored in the body is too high. The transferring saturation test determines how much iron is bound to the protein that carries iron in the blood. The total iron binding capacity test measures how well your blood can transport iron. There are tests that show the level of iron in the liver. If either of these tests show higher than normal levels of iron in the body, doctors can order a special blood test to test the defects of the HFE mutation, which will help confirm the diagnosis. Hemochromatosis is often underdiagnosed and untreated. Treatment for this disease is simple, inexpensive, and safe. The first step is to rid the body of excess iron. This process is called phlebotomy, which means removing blood the same way it is drawn from donors at blood banks. Depending on how severe the iron overload is, a pint of blood will be taken once or twice a week for several months to a year, and sometimes longer. Once iron levels return to normal, maintenance therapy, which involves giving a pint of blood every two to four months for life, begins. Some people may need it more often. The earlier hemochromatosis is diagnosed and treated, the better. There is current research for this disease in which scientists are working to understand more about how, how the HFE gene normally regulates iron levels. They are also studying how iron injures the body cells. Research is also underway to explain why the amounts of iron people normally store in their body differs.